Hey everyone, Krista here, and today we're at Fear Reach Scream Park in Tavares, Florida, which is a brand new haunt for Central Florida. In this video, I'm gonna go over all of the spooky details to help you decide if this might be a good event for you and your family. So let's get into it. Fear Reach Scream Park is located at a family ranch in Tavares, Florida, which is about 45 minutes north of Orlando. And this year, they are unleashing a terrifying brand new attraction for 2023 called Fear Reach Scream Park. Fear Reach Scream Park graciously invited me to come and experience their attraction. And I have to say, I was utterly impressed. Fear Reach Scream Park is featuring three haunted attractions, carnival games, food, drinks, and live entertainment. When you first walk in, you'll enter the common area where you'll find all three attractions, Bloodline Barn, Grimoire Manor, and the Chainsaw Chase. But in addition to that, there are several other fun things to do for free, like this giant Jenga game, cornhole, and this really addictive ring hook game that I apparently am horrible at. But what you really come here for is the haunted mazes. And for their very first year, Fear Reach Scream Park has easily exceeded all expectations with their incredible set design. We started our haunted adventure at Bloodline Barn, which is located right next to the Pitchfork Parlor and Bar. And wow, what a maze to kick off the event. As you enter the maze, you'll encounter a plague doctor who will grant you safe passage through the haunted barn, where a mad scientist is performing some gruesome experiments. The next house is Grimoire Manor. The entrance to Grimoire Manor is marked by this awesome facade of an old rundown manor. And as you walk through this haunted house, you'll encounter all manner of spirits and creatures. The theming in this house just blew me away at how detailed and immersive it is. This ended up being my favorite house of the night. The final maze is the Chainsaw Chase, and here you'll enter a nightmare filled with chainsaw-wielding monsters. Keep in mind that it is a maze, so there's several directions that you can go, but if you do make a wrong turn, the monsters will sometimes be kind enough to point you in the right direction. In addition to the haunted houses, there were also carnival-style games for an extra fee at Dr. Deviant's Game Emporium. Here, you can buy 5 tickets for $5 or 25 tickets for $20. All of the proceeds for the games go to Donna Vista Art to help support expressions of art and exploration. The games here include Ring Toss, Can Toss, Tic Tac Severed Toe, The Grave Diggin', and the beanbag toss. It's one ticket to play each one of these classic games and you can win some really fun prizes. The highlight here is the axe throwing that you can do three throws for five tickets or nine throws for 10 tickets. 
And this was my very first time trying axe throwing and discovered that I'm actually not that bad. If you get hungry while you're here, there are several food and drink options available for purchase. The main food option is the Canteen Food Truck, which offers burgers, funnel cakes, chicken tenders, hot dogs, a buffalo chicken wrap, as well as some appetizer options. Right next to the Canteen Food Truck is an ice cream truck, where I purchased an ice cream bar from the eeriest yet surprisingly friendly ice cream guy. The bar here is the Pitchfork Parlor and a Bar. Here you can get some adult beverages including these two themed drinks, the Poison Apple and the Budges Brew, that you can get with or without alcohol. Once you have your drinks, you can pull up a chair to a coffin and enjoy some live music from the dismembered band. If you want to bring something home with you to commemorate surviving the night, there is a small merch stand here where you can pick up t-shirts, hats, koozies, and also some locally grown honey. Overall, if you're looking for a thrilling local event, Fear Reach Scream Park is a great choice. For their very first year, they have knocked it out of the park with their haunted mazes and overall experience, and personally, I'm excited to see what they have in store next year. If you are planning on heading to Fear Reach Scream Park, here are a few things to keep in mind. Fear Reach Scream Park is open every Friday and Saturday night from September 29th through November 4th, plus Halloween night. Hours are 7 p.m. to midnight and tickets start at $20 per person and must be bought online in advance from their website at fearreachscreampark.com. You also have the option of choosing the Speed Pass, which starts at $30 and can also vary throughout the season. The Speed Pass allows you to skip the line at all of the attractions. This event is not recommended for children under 12. And since this event is mostly outdoors, if it rains, you will get wet. And I also recommend bug spray. If you've made it this far in the video, then I would love to hear from you on Instagram at Krista Travels, where I release content almost daily on the videos that I'm currently working on. And if you found this information helpful, I would love it if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to get more ideas like this to do in my beautiful state of Florida. I release a new video every week and the best way to be able to see them is by subscribing. If you're looking for even more spooky experiences to try in Central Florida, then I've got an entire playlist for you that just popped up on the screen. In this playlist, I'll go through all of the Halloween events at major theme parks as well as a few smaller ones that I'll be adding on as the season continues. Until next time everyone, I hope you have an incredible night and I'll see you in the fog.